Hey everybody, on a ride bike with Robert. What we're gonna talk about is, I have an old GT steel frame bike. And I thought about getting the front forks, making it a hard tail. And everybody said, why come I walked away from that idea is simply because two factors. And I'm gonna show you the two factors. So just hang in there. And you will see. As you can see, this is the GT bike I'm talking about. Okay. Two factors. Still has the V-brakes. These rims are not good for disc brakes. So I'd have to use V-brakes. This bike is going to remain the same way. What I'm going to be using it for is a store getter. Put a bike trailer on the back and go do some shopping. This is the bike I moved to. Simply because of the two reasons. On the front fork, I almost fell. <laughs> I have the mods for the disc brake. And the rims have the hub to put a disc brake on. And this fork also has the V-brake. Now on the rear of this frame, it has the mod for the disc brake and the hub. They're a WTB dual duty, so you can use V-brakes on these rims or a disc. So I think that would be nice. And these tires are like mainly for any cement. So these will be, you know, street worthy. I, I do plan on putting some different tires, something like this maybe, but that's, this is what I moved to because the GT, I would need front forks and disc brakes are the way to go. I mean, not the V brakes. I still rock some V brakes on my bikes. They're not bad, you know, for what I use them for, but this bike is going to be an upgradable. So I want to put disc brakes on it. That's where I'm at with this. I mean, I, I moved to this bike because... It's a little more updated. The steel frame GT is just going to be a steel frame rigid mountain bike. Hey, that's where I'm at with the bike, you know. Leave the steel frame, the steel frame, leave it rigid. And, you know, I'm back at this Haro bike because it takes less to put in. And, sorry about that. And what I'm doing is, you know, just trying to make a budget build out of this and keep it in the realm of a budget build. And you know, there's a lot of videos out there that shows budget builds. And I've been keeping an eye on a certain channel. You know, and I'm gonna drop their name because I appreciate them. Wolf Tick Videos. You guys do great work. I like the duo you got there. Nice, appreciate you guys putting all that budget parts out there. I like that fact because then, you know, you did a headset video a couple times. I appreciate that. And you gave me ideas on where to get some nice headsets in a budget, the cranks, you know, parts. I appreciate that. And, you know, there's other people that I watch. I watch all my videos. If you put a video up, you upload, and I sub to you, I'm going to watch it. And a lot of people, you know, wonder why. Oh, why do you watch that? Why do you watch that? I tell them because you know what? They support me. I support them. You know, if I like the videos, I'm going to watch it. I watch biking videos, RC stuff, because I have some RC crawlers. I get into that still. And I watch, you know, other videos on DIYs, like how to make stuff for stuff, like PVC stuff. And I get ideas. So I watch them videos also. And the bikes... I get a lot of ideas from other videos, you know. I get a lot of views on mine sometimes, and then I don't, you know. I just plug at it and keep going. And, you know, we got to keep keep going sometimes, you know. You don't learn if you don't try. You know, what lessons learned if we don't try anything? So if I keep plugging at this video, I'm eventually going to get somewhere. You know, if I don't, then, hey... I'm trying for me, my personal best. And 
That's how we got to go. We got to keep trying and go and go and go. We fail, we get back up and keep going and we fight to live another day. We just keep trying. The resilience in us keeps strong for us to keep going. The courage we have, we overcome everything that has battled our way. We fight for what's right. Sometimes we fight to stay alive. And that's what it's about. You live another day. You make it what you want it. You create what comes back to you. So, you know, I don't mean to get on that rant there. Sorry about that. But I appreciate all the videos I watch. And I appreciate everybody that subbed to me. And, you know, there is other guys I watch, you know. I appreciate it, you know. And a lot of channels out there, you know, I create videos and sometimes I think, man, am I gonna get some views or am I gonna get a like button, you know? If I get a like button, it gets populated more. The more likes, the more views, helps me grow as a channel. And if I don't grow, then I'm doing this for free as a creative side for me. And it's an outing for me to be creative, to be positive. And that's what I do. I use it as a positive twist to be creative. And I talk with my hands a lot. And if you feel like you're not getting viewed or anything, or you feel like, hey, I'm making this video, and, you know, keep going. Keep going strong. Keep being you. It's your channel. Do it. Keep going. Keep plugging away. Don't change for anybody. I don't change. I keep doing the same kind of video. You know, I, I have a little more and more video I do, too. So I have RCs, bikes. I talk about my desktop that failed and I had to bring it back to life. I talk about, you know, welding. You know, I'm all about everything anymore because, one, I can't ride my bike 24-7. And I have other things that are, you know, that I do. I'm going to be well-rounded as a channel and a well-rounded person. So I try to dip and dab and all kind of stuff. You know, like the winter, I take my wife ice skating. And this year, I'm going to hope to get her snowboarding. Plans B, we can get there. So you know what to do. Give me some, 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 dum, 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 dum. I can't even talk. Give me some thumbs up if you like my video. And keep the thumbs up coming. And you know what to do. Get on your bike. Send it. Ride it out.